From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. This episode is brought to you by the audiobook One Bad Night by Jason R. Davis, narrated by Darren Marlar. Hear a free sample of this horror audiobook at MarlarHouse.com. President Trump was in Texas on Tuesday to visit areas ravaged by Hurricane Harvey. Gee, now you'd think those poor people would have suffered enough already, but I guess not. Lotto winner Mavis Wanchek now has more money than Beyonce, Leonardo DiCaprio, Mel Gibson, Kim, Kanye, and many other celebrities. So, what are you going to do with your three quarters of a billion dollars, Mavis? I'm getting new snow tires for my 99 Ford Escort. According to a new study, one in four Americans don't consider one-night stands cheating. Also discovered, one in four Americans are completely delusional. Recently in Florida, an intoxicated woman bit into a man's fishing line, then swam off with his lure. Alexandria Turner allegedly swam up to the man's line and began cursing at him. Well, then she nibbled at the line and then swam away with the bait. Cops accused her of disturbing the sense of public norm at the pier, and when they tried to handcuff her to take her into protective custody, she yelled, I'm bleeping naked! Oh, yeah, and guys, I, I hear she's single, too. Yeah. The California teen has developed a smartphone app for kids wanting to do extra chores. Both of those kids are said to be thrilled. Wisconsin and New Jersey actually have laws on the books that make it illegal to sell home-baked goods. So, what, what do you do for a bake sale, then? Well, here's what I would do. Bag all of the cupcakes and cookies in plastic Ziploc baggies. Sell the baggies for a buck each. And with each baggie, you also get free cookies or a cupcake. There you go. Problem solved. You're welcome. Well, there's yet another new study about coffee. This one says that four cups a day lowers your risk of death. Well, that's due to all the exercise you get walking back and forth to the bathroom. The secret to keeping your mind and body young and vibrant at any age? Getting your beauty sleep. According to an April 2017 study published in the journal Neuron, lack of quality shut-eye among senior citizens can raise their risk of memory loss and suffering wide range of mental and physical disorders such as Alzheimer's disease, heart disease, obesity, diabetes, and stroke. Matthew Walker, senior author of the study and professor of psychology at neurosciences at the University of California, Berkeley, says nearly every disease killing us later in life has a casual link to lack of sleep. So, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to have to go take a nap. Well, after the, after the daily dose of weird news. Hey, you got to have priorities. A new study finds that a beer buzz can boost a person's creativity. Researchers at the University of Graz in Austria they have concluded that mild alcohol intoxication can actually boost cognition and creativity through loosening up and refocusing. This study made possible by a grant from Anheuser-Busch. Believe it or not, some companies in Canada's British Columbia province can force women to wear high heels at work. Well, not anymore. The premier of the province, Christy Clark, announced Friday that companies can no longer impose such a rule. Clark, who belongs to the Liberal Party, called the practice dangerous and discriminatory. Well, yeah, definitely discriminatory, because Manalo Blahnik doesn't make high heels for men, and that's just wrong. The study says poor sleep can lead to dementia. Wait a minute, didn't I just talk about that a couple seconds ago? In Pennsylvania, 44-year-old Elwood R. Gutschel was arrested around 12.15 a.m. and charged with DUI. Ironically, at the time of his arrest, he was wearing a T-shirt which read, Drunk Lives Matter. Officers say they observed Gutschall committing multiple traffic violations in a green Ford pickup. After subsequent investigation, it was determined the driver was under the influence of alcohol beyond what he could safely operate a motor vehicle, according to the department's Facebook post. His blood alcohol test registered at 0.217%, nearly triple the legal limit. Most ironic mugshot in the history of mugshots. The Greeks were always given credit for inventing trigonometry, but new evidence shows that the ancient Babylonians came up with it a thousand years before the Greeks. The records also show that the Babylonians were the first to have both call waiting and hot pockets. There was a planned alt-right rally over the weekend on a San Francisco beach called Chrissy Field. 
Anti-alt-right protesters decided to make the beach somewhat unpleasant for rally-goers by organizing dog walkers to let their dogs poop all over the beach. An event was started called Leave Your Dog Poop on Chrissy Field. The dog walkers would then regroup on Sunday to clean up the poop. The idea got a lot of support, with one father even asking if it was okay to unload his baby's diaper because he didn't have a dog. However, others criticized the idea, saying the area should be kept beautiful. Still others suggested retaliating by picking up the dog mess and throwing it onto the streets of San Francisco. America is really fun right now, isn't it? In Wisconsin, a funeral home has applied for a liquor license. Hey, you wanted enough alcohol to say what you were really thinking about the deceased? Well, there you go. Giving kids too much candy could lead them to murder, according to a recent study. Research published in the British Journal of Psychiatry shows that children who ate sweets daily were prone to commit savage crimes as adults. Giving children candy and chocolate regularly may stop them from learning how to wait to obtain something they want, says a study participant. Not being able to defer gratification may push them toward more impulsive behavior, which is strongly associated with delinquency. So every Halloween, when your kid is dressed up as a serial killer and going door-to-door -door getting candy, he is ironically also being slowly turned into a serial killer. A dad has invented a new app that freezes a teen's cell phone if they don't respond to your text in a timely fashion. It's called Reply ASAP. He also plans to develop one for mother-in-laws called Shut Up ASAP. The study showed that millennials prefer their friends to text when they arrive at their house rather than ring the doorbell or knock, because if that's the standard procedure, anyone ringing or knocking is not a friend. Millennials have texting. Us old folks had super-secret knocks. There's a new beer coming out that contains marijuana. It's for those who get too full drinking beer but still want to have the munchies. It'll make you fat and dopey. Despite having no CEO for two months, Uber's bookings are up 17 percent. Hey, maybe we should try going without a leader in the United States and see if it's just as beneficial for us. Detroit spent $100 million on stadium renovations in the offseason. Both of their season ticket holders are said to be thrilled. An expecting couple in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania saw more than they expected during their baby's sonogram. Yes, it seems soon-to-be parents Alicia Zeke and Zach Smith fully believe they saw Jesus' face staring back at them during their baby girl's ultrasound, ahead of the birth of their baby girl in Chambersburg. Smith said the image brought tears to his eyes while his fiance Zeke, stood in disbelief. Smith says the image is a sign from heaven and calls it a blessing. The couple also put the image up on Facebook to see what others think. Not, not to be uh, all judging, but do you really think that Jesus would choose a couple that has had sex outside of wedlock to reveal himself? I mean, the Bible says that's a big no-no. Kind of makes me wonder if maybe this is really Satan? Do you like wine? Are you broke all the time? Then get ready for $5 wines at Target. No, not glasses of $5 wine, bottles of $5 wine. Target will start selling the $5 wine this coming Sunday, September 3rd, under the label California Roots. Target, making it more affordable to become a hobo. ABC is planning a new live-action adaptation of the classic cartoon The Jetsons. The sitcom, about a modern family living in a world of robots, holograms, and flying cars, will be set 100 years in the future and will capture the family through a modern filter. The characters will be based on the Hanna-Barbera version that originally ran from 1962 to 1963. Oh, wow, so it ran from 62 all the way through 63! Whoo! And ABC's counting on that to save the network? Man, <laughs> you gotta like those chances! If you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other social media to help get the word out. To become an official weirdo, click that subscribe button and click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be part of the notification squad. And while you're at it, click that like button to let the world know that you are an official weirdo.